Welcome to this demonstration on how to install Email Converter for Azure and SharePoint. I'm Peter Kalmström at Kalmström.com Business Solutions. With Email Converter for Azure and SharePoint, you can monitor multiple email folders and have your emails converted into SharePoint list items automatically, around the clock, seven days a week. The solution supports all Exchange Web Service emails, for example, Office 365, Windows Live, or Microsoft Exchange, and can be downloaded from the Azure Marketplace. Here I have the Email Converter product page open on the Azure Marketplace, and I click on Get It Now and continue to install it. Now the Azure Dashboard opens and I click on Create to deploy the Email Converter resources. I fill out the details under the Basics tab. Here in the Pricing tire, you may select a paid service from this drop-down. By default, I'm using a free plan for the app service. The tier doesn't affect the functionality of Email Converter. You can select an existing resource group, but I would recommend that you create a new one. That way you can easily give permission to another user if you want. Here I'll create a new resource group, Sales Demo. I'll select my location and click OK. Now I confirm the details under the Summary tab and click OK. I accept the license agreement and click on Create. As soon as I click on Create, I'll be directed back to the Azure dashboard. To see the installation, I'll go to the Resource Groups, and here is the new resource group I just created for Email Converter. As I open this resource group, you can see that there are three resources deployed by Email Converter. The first is the App Service Plan, where you can get information about the Azure service status, subscription plan, and ID. The second is the Scheduler Job Collection, with which you can manage the conversion. By default, emails are converted in every five minutes. The third is the App Service, from where you can reach the Email Converter login page. Open the App Service and click on the link under URL. As you see, I've reached the Email Converter login page for email account. And now I will enter the login credentials for the mailbox that I want Email Converter to monitor. Now the Email Converter main configuration page will open, and I can add a SharePoint list. When I log into a SharePoint site, all lists on that site will be displayed so that I can choose which one or which ones I want to use with Email Converter. Here I'll select two lists from the same site, but I can also log in to another site and pick lists from there. Next step is to map the emails and the list columns to decide where the email details should be placed in each list item. As I've selected two lists, I must select a list here and I can very well map them differently. I'll only map the issues list now. Instead, I'll select which email folder or folders email converter should monitor. That is done here. Now I'll just select one folder, the inbox, but you can let email converter monitor as many folders as you wish and direct the emails to different SharePoint lists or to the same list if that suits your organization better. Here I'll select the issues list that I mapped earlier. So from now on, all emails that come into the inbox will be converted to list items in the issues list. Please read more about Email Converter installation and configuration options in the manual. Thank you for watching this demo.